Inmates in as many as 40 prisons in 24 states across the U.S. are on strike, refusing to work in protest to what they call modern-day slavery. The 13th Amendment of the Constitution of the United States assures that slavery will be abolished except for those incarcerated, which means if you have been convicted of a crime and you are serving jail time in a prison, post-trial, post-conviction, <clears throat> it is perfectly legal for the government to enslave you and to conscript you into labor that you don't necessarily want to perform for a pittance of a salary. But in places like Texas, Arkansas, and Georgia, inmates are not paid at all. At times, work is performed for private, for-profit companies like Walmart, Victoria's Secret, and IBM. It's not just fair wages that they're calling for, but rather wide-scale reforms within the prison system. From prison rape elimination, to access to medical care, to oversight that includes due process methodologies installed to protect these vulnerable populations are all part of the suite of um, demands that prisoners, inmates, and the incarcerate population across America is calling for. The protests have been organized by the inmate-led Free Alabama movement and coordinated by the Incarcerated Workers Organizing Committee, along with the support of other groups. The exact number of prisoners participating in the strike is unclear because authorities at correctional facilities have not made the numbers public. However, organizers say they're able to receive periodic updates and the strike is indeed ongoing. The strike comes on the 45th anniversary of the Attica prison uprising when inmates in the notorious New York Correctional Facility revolted and demanded better living conditions. However, it's clear many of the reforms demanded over four decades ago have yet to be addressed. Susan Modaris, Press TV, New York.